We're back again. Thanks for staying with us. And uh, it's time for section four. And of course it is. This is the way we end our show every day, a little something different at the end of the show. And you know we all have our shortcomings, but you really don't know what it's like to be in someone else's shoes unless you try them on and walk around for a while. Well, Ellen Emery offers this next story as an attempt to, to have you see what it's like to be in her shoes for a little while. A short story by Ellen Emery. Listen, I have an ax to pick. Unless you're a short person yourself, you probably don't realize that this is a tall person's world. know about you, but that song has always made my skin crawl, probably because it's a blatant tall tale. It's actually a tall world, after all, a tall, tall world. You know, you figure when you're a kid that someday you'll grow up and out of the humiliations associated with height, that someday you might even be able to pick out your own clothes. Dream on, shorts. When I grew up, I didn't grow up. For instance, clothing costs were out of sight, due largely to added hemming costs. And for a long time, petites found it a real reach to find dignified clothes that fit. And these days, now that designers have come up with decent petite designs, some stores have neglected to hang those clothes closer to the ground. Mmm, blatant shortism. And do tall people care about short people's sense of security? No! Apparently, it didn't dawn on the person who put in my peephole that I really wouldn't be able to get a good view of a would-be intruder. And I bet it would be really scary for them to see a little pinhead bobbing up and down, holding down the fort. Yes, shortism is rampant in our everyday language. Life is short, and then you die. And you never hear anyone say you can never be too short or too rich, or that somebody got the tall end of the stick. Oh, and this is my favorite. Somebody comes to you and apologizes for being short with you that day. So what's wrong with being short with someone, huh? No, over my head does not feel nice, thank you. Counselor, could you approach the bench, please? I'd like to see how you'd feel, attempting to champion a client's cause, making an eloquent, forceful argument on your little tippy toes. Well, the dignity issues aside, <laughs> short people must be on their toes. Huh. Wary of traps that tall people negotiate every day without danger. Now, this may look like a charming and rustic boardwalk to you, but to folks who wear height enhancers, i.e. high heels. They're potential death traps. <laughs> so please keep your eyes out for shortism. And if you're short yourself, stand up. Come on, I said, stand up. Oh, you're already standing. Oh. Ooh, that felt good. I've always wanted to say that. The end. Thank you, Ellen. Nice job. You're seven foot tall in our book. You know, I want to remind everybody out there in television land that if you'd like to come down and see the show, you can come down and watch us do it.